School students applying for colleges and universities in the state now have a new standardized testing option in addition to the ACT and the SAT. Action News Jack's Jake Stofan joins us live in the South Bank. Jake, the classic learning test has drawn some controversy because of its content. Yeah, well, the classic learning test, or CLT, puts an emphasis on Western culture and even incorporates some religious texts into its reading comprehension sections. That has some Florida lawmakers raising concerns some students could go into the exam with an advantage over others. The Board of Governors for the State University System of Florida recently approved a measure requiring state colleges and universities to accept test scores from the classic learning test for student admissions. Only one member, Amanda Phelan, voted no, citing concerns the CLT, which began in 2015, does not have a proven track record. The classical learning test or CLT may actually be a viable alternative to the SAT or ACT in demonstrating college preparedness. But analysis of the data provided by CLT does not currently provide robust evidence demonstrating that this is the case. Others, like State Representative Anna Escamani, who was one of only three Florida lawmakers to vote no on the bill authorizing the use of the CLT, argue the state's emphasis on Western culture and religion could give some students advantages over others. It's politically motivated to insert religion into our public institutions. And as a firm believer for the separation of church and state, I don't think it's appropriate for a religious test to be used when it comes to our public universities. But Taryn Boyce, director of marketing for the CLT, argues the test includes a diverse mix of reading selections. Students will be reading authors that are both atheists and religious. They'll be reading Karl Marx as well as Adam Smith. She also emphasized the test is based on reading comprehension of the texts and students don't need prior knowledge of the content to succeed. Many students will find they perform better on this exam, that it provides a much more accurate reflection of what they want to show colleges. So they can go to our website, cltexam.com. They can sign up to take a test at home, online. Uh, it's a short two-hour exam, so there's really not much to lose. Try it out and see if it fits you better, and it can help thousands of students that it already has helped achieve their college goals. As far as the question of whether the test has a proven track record goes, CLT did publish a recent report disputing claims that the test doesn't meet the rigorous standards of the ACT and SAT. We'll link to that report on this story on actionnewsjax.com so you can decide for yourself. For local coverage, you can count on live on the South Bank. I'm Jake Stofan, Action News Jax.